Hey guys, what is going on? Jonathan here from TSP98. In this video, guys, we kind of have a graphics card upgrade. So this is not much of an upgrade, but we're going from the 210 from NVIDIA to the GT530, also from NVIDIA. So this is DDR3, 256 megabytes of um, VRAM, which is not very good. We have VGA, HDMI, and Dual Link DVI, which comes pretty much standard on most cards today. So I'm going to be putting this card away and upgrading to the new DT530, also from NVIDIA. So this is DDR2, and it's got 1 gigabyte of VRAM. So it's a lot better than the old card, but it's still not that great of a card today. So if you have a look for the inputs, we have DVI, Dual Link DVI, of course, and of course HDMI for the inputs. So I actually do need to get an adapter, so I've already purchased that, but... We'll go ahead and have a look at that later on in the clip. So it's a very standard card, not really much to it, but let's go ahead and jump right into the installation of this semi-beast thing. By the way, guys, I don't really need this card for anything else, but just to run my two dual monitors. So I recently just got a new monitor uh, because my old one, I haven't been using it and it's very dodgy. By the way, guys, here's my SSD. I just wanted to show you that. Anyway, this card is only for dual uh, screens purposes nothing really anything else not for gaming not for anything else but anyway guys here we have the card successfully put into the machine as you guys can see it's pretty standard nothing really else to it we have dual link dvi and of course hdmi here is my rear io in case you guys are wondering so let's go ahead and take a look at the hdmi to dvi adapter so i picked this up for around 15 to 20 dollars for my local pc store because i really didn't want to wait for shipping but let's go ahead take a further look here we have the dvi connection of course and of course we also have the hdmi connection so it's pretty standard nothing really else to it i really like the build quality of this cable it's very it's a very well built cable but anyway guys, let's have a look at the graphics card. We'll go ahead, and I'm sorry about the lighting, but we're going to go ahead and insert the HDMI into the graphics card. And thanks to Final Cut Cut, which I did get Final Cut Pro, we now have it connected to the BenQ monitor, which is my new one. So let's go ahead, power it up, and smack bang. As you guys can see, it worked right out of the box, both of the cable and the new graphics card. So I actually have this system as a Hackintosh. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.